Hello, students. You can probably guess who this is. It's your professor, Dr. Mink, and this is a short video I've created to demonstrate converting decimal base 10 integers to binary base 2 integers. We're going to use an 8-bit unsigned binary representation in this example. And we're going to start off with the number 153. I'll do this at least twice, maybe three times. So here we have the eight bits. I have them all set to zero. And I have, have them labeled as bit zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice here, bit zero represents 2 to the 0 power. Bit 1 represents 2 to the 1st power. 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th, 2 to the 5th, 2 to the 6th, 2 to the 7th. So in this case we have 8 bits and we could represent numbers from 0 to 2 to the 8th minus 1. 2 to the 8th is 256. So we can represent numbers from 0 to 255. So let's start. And I'll show you how this works. Let's convert 153 base 10 to an 8-bit binary number. We start with the most significant bit, which in this case is bit number 7 which has a, a value of 128, 2 to the 7th. Can 153 be divided by 128? It can. And then we subtract 128. And we have a remainder of 25. Does 64 go into 120, or does 64 go into 25? It does not. So we leave the zero. Does 32 go into 25? It does not. Zero. Does 16 go into 25? It does. One. We subtract 16. And we get nine. Does eight go into nine? It does. So we place a one there. Subtract 8 from 9. That's a pretty tough problem. I think it is going to yield 1. 4 does not go into 1. 2 does not go into 1. 1 goes into 1 with a remainder of 0. So I'm not going to do that final subtraction. So the decimal base 10 integer 153 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 in binary. Now this is an unsigned binary. We're going to get to signed binary numbers later. Let's try another example. So I'm just going to delete these. I'm going to delete this. Let's try, I don't know, 249. Okay. Does 128 go into 249? It does. We subtract 128. Get a remainder of 121. Does 64 go into 121? It does. Do the subtraction. We have 57. Does 32 go into 57? It does. So we subtract. Thirty-two. We have twenty-five. Does sixteen go into twenty-five? It does.
whoops, wrong number. We do the subtraction. Nine. Does eight go into nine? It does. You can see where this one's going. Remainder of one. Four does not go into one. Place a zero in that bit. Two does not go into one. Place a zero in that bit. And one goes into one with a remainder of zero. So the decimal number, base 10 decimal number, 249, converts to the unsigned binary 8-bit number 11111001. Notice I had a little uh, formula over here that calculated the total as I was placing the bits in. So let's see if I went to 1, 1, 255. So remember, we can represent from 0 to 2 to the k minus 1. 2 to the 8th is 256. If all bits are populated with a 1, that gives us 255. If all bits were populated with a 0, obviously we have 0. For a total of 256 values, 0 plus 1 to 255. I hope this was useful. Obviously, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, ask them to me in class. Email me. You know the routine. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.